Now I know what you guys might be thinking. Schizo Saint, did you film this in December? Nope, it is March 20th. <laughs> and this is what Idaho still looks like, okay? It is still snowing, still winter. <laughs> so it's been a while since I've done a proper gear check. So let's go ahead and do that. As you can see, I've gotten some really nice new toys. This is the Mystery Ranch Terra Frame 50. The lid is loaded with gear right now, so that's why it's all scrunched up. But yeah, that's the Mystery Ranch Terra Frame 50. It is a 50 liter pack. However, it has a feature called the, I think it's just called the Terra Frame feature, where you can basically load whatever you want in the back and strap it in. So I've got my AR back there right now. We're about to break this sucker out. I've also got the Hill People gear. This is the, I think, heavy recon kit bag. This bag is just incredible. I love it. I also got the Mora Niv, uh, Mora Kniv, whatever. Um, gosh, friggin' if it'll come out. This is a Swedish made knife, I think. Mora, Mora Kniv, Mora Kniv, whatever. As far as I know, they're sort of like the uh, Palmetto State Armory of knife companies. Like they're affordable, but dependable. Uh, this one came with a Molly sheath. As you can see, it doesn't work the best, but it works well enough. Uh, this knife is far and away, uh, by far not the most interesting knife in the world. Is that rust already? <sighs> Yikes, <laughs> so much for stainless. But anyway, so um, I basically just use knives so far for just, you know, kindling. So it does, it's gonna do that task perfectly fine. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what's in the kit bag here. Um, so I transferred a lot of stuff from my Rush uh, 24 that I used to have. I transferred a lot of that stuff into here. So we've got a flashlight, binoculars. I've got my Book of Mormon from last time. I've also got a Right and Rain. Um, I can also carry a bunch of other stuff as well. Back here is a concealed carry pocket. I just use it to carry magazines at this point in time. But yeah, overall, this kit bag is just awesome. If you're looking to expand a little bit of capability, if you really like having an admin pouch, this thing is great. Uh, maybe I should do a full review on this sucker because there are some limitations to this bag. But uh, overall, though, I really like it. I'm not sure if it's worth 140 bucks, but it is definitely very good. The same can be said for the Mystery Ranch. As far as updates to the rifle here, let's, uh, let's break the sucker out. Let's get this all the way out here. I have gotten the primary arms. I think that's the GLX uh, Aimpoint T2 mount. As you can see, I've back swept it and it's raised a little bit. So um, this optic is now a lot easier to use. I mean, that's $50 invested into the optic that makes it a lot easier to, to use. It pushes the optic back a little bit. So overall, that is great. You'll also notice I've the uh, stream light is back. I took this off forever ago because I was going to replace it. But what I discovered is once I put lithium batteries in this, the lumens on the sucker, I mean, obviously you can't see anything outside right now. The lumens on the sucker are great. This light works perfectly well. So I have no plans on replacing that light. It is working really, really good so far. Uh, but yeah, overall, uh, that's basically it for the gear update. Our plan today, gentlemen, uh, we're just gonna venture up this hill a little bit more, explore a little bit, just enjoy ourselves. So you might hear me do some, let's get some rambling. So let's get to it. Let's talk a little bit for a sec about layering gear. So this is something that you kind of have to learn yourself, obviously. Um, that's what this channel's all about. I wanna encourage all of you guys to get out there with your gear so you can learn for yourself what works. I've noticed, putting on the recon bag first. That works really well. Make sure it's situated. Make sure my collars on my jacket are coming out. Beautiful. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, put this in the snow for now. <laughs> we're gonna take our mystery ranch. Ooh, let's make sure it's tightened up all the way. But yeah, as you can see, the tear frame feature is so cool. So you can actually expand the bag, the bag outward and you can carry a pretty decently large I don't know, tent or gear or whatever else in between. So even though it's technically only a 50 liter bag, um, you can really make this thing carry a lot of stuff. Um, if I ever am lucky enough to go moose hunting or elk hunting, you could easily carry a quarter back there. So I think the TerraFrame line is, is actually inspired by their hunting line. Um, so yeah, but it's more marketed towards a backpacker. So now as far as this bag, I got it on sale for 300 bucks. Um, 
Personally, guys, I would not spend any more than 300 bucks on this bag. It's great. Don't get me wrong. I mean, it's Mystery Ranch. I mean, I can't, I can't complain too much. It's a, it's a really good bag, but I think for the money, you're going to be able to find bags that have a lot more capability. I think the 511 Rush 100 bag, for example, I think that's a great deal. If the Rush 100 is the same build quality as the Rush 24, I think I would recommend that over this when it comes to price. However, if money isn't as big of a factor for you, I would definitely still spring for this. But I mean, overall, I really do like it. Don't get me wrong. I think just in hindsight, I think the Rush 24 would have been a better use of money. So, oh, oh wow. Let's check the glass on that. There you go, perfectly clear, nice. Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot my sling. Oh, man. Okay, I guess we're... Uh... Oh, that's not good. That's fine. Okay, that's okay. We'll just... We'll carry it like this. Like a freaking... Like we're in Vietnam or something. Good freaking grief. What a stupid... What a stupid move, man. Okay, guys. Make sure you check your freaking gear before you pack up the car and go. I was so excited to get out here this morning. I completely forgot to put my sling back on. So there you go. I'm not a perf, I'm not perfect. I'm not a perfect Minuteman. I'm not a perfect forest wanderer. I clearly still make mistakes. That's a big one, but <laughs> no big deal. The woods are very different than the desert. Now, I know that kind of goes without saying, but. What the frick? I don't know if that got on camera, but I heard a crash in the tree line over there. Holy freak. Okay, let's saddle up and frickin' <laughs> We'll go check it out. You know guys, when I first started this channel, I really gave in to my fear a lot. You know, like I would flee from scary noises and I'd stay away from places that freaked me out. I'm still scared. I'm still a very scared person. The difference is, I'm learning how to walk it off. Hello? I have a right to be here. Huh. out of here all right guys the snow's coming down pretty hard so if i want to get out of here i'm gonna to have to leave soon but <sighs> guys i want to leave you with a little thought i don't know how many of you are interested in catastrophism or catastrophism or whatever it's called basically what it is is when you do enough research into ice ages meteorite impacts, things like that, you begin to gain an understanding of just how vulnerable this planet really is. And uh, at any time, a giant rock from space could come and wipe us all out and there's nothing we can do to stop it. And so maybe it hits on the other side of the planet and you survive and you just have to endure the societal reset or maybe it lands on top of your house, you don't know. And so it's important to make sure that you're prepared for that event, okay? Now, how do you become prepared for an asteroidal impact? <laughs> well, there's a few ways. One is make sure you got gear that is gonna enable you to do a wide variety of different things, okay? With this TerraFrame backpack, 
okay? I can sustain myself with two, maybe three days worth of supplies, a tent, a bunch of other things. With that rifle, I can secure my food storage. I, se I can secure my water and food storage. That's why it's so important that you get a, get a gun as soon as you can. Everything you have is someone else's if you don't have a gun. Because if you built up years worth of food and water storage, but you have no way of defending it, all someone needs is a gun and they can come and take it from you. Okay, and so it's important that you have a way of securing that and then you need to get the best gun possible, which in my opinion is the AR-15, right? But whatever. That's why you have a gun so you can secure, you know, your everything you have, your family, your food, your water. That's why you have a backpack so you can carry all that crap. Maybe you need to leave on a trip for a minute. Maybe you do need to go venture in the woods for a sec so you can come back with maybe an elk or a deer or something. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen. But what if that asteroid lands on top of your house? Well, all of this material stuff no longer matters. Now all that matters is, are you spiritually ready for that? Because as time goes on, we're learning the universe is more strange than we could have ever imagined, right? As time goes on, we find history is becoming more mysterious, not less mysterious. We're finding that physics is scarier than we could have ever thought. We're finding that things are getting weirder. Things are getting more strange. And that means that it's more than likely, in my opinion, that something happens after you die. Are you ready for that experience? What do you think you need to do to be spiritually ready for that? So are you spiritually prepared? And are you physically prepared for what's to come? So that's what I'm gonna leave it with you guys today. Just dwell on that. So I love you guys. I know this was a short one, uh, but I really appreciate all of you and your support. If you wanna see more armed expeditions, go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and please, please leave a comment. I love interacting with you guys. You guys are very intelligent, very fun people. I love talking to you guys in the comments. So please leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. So anyway, have a wonderful rest of your day. I'm gonna chill out here, pray, eat some food, and then I'm gonna get the frick out of here. So have a wonderful day.